photometers. This is the older edition. To turn it on, there's a switch in the back. You then need to change your wavelength to the desired wavelength. You can do this by changing the buttons by pressing plus or minus. We're going to set it to 530. Then check your mode. The mode can be changed by pressing the mode button located here. We want an absorbance, which it already is. We're now going to set our reference by using our blank or our solvent. You want to hold these cuvettes on the blurred side. You then can put the cuvette into this hole with the arrow pointing through the blank side. You then close the cap and press set reference. you'll see zeros appear on the board. You can then remove your reference and start your samples. The reading will appear up here, which you can record. After you have done all your standards, you can then do your unknown. So you can get a new cuvette, also holding the blurred side, and fill it up with your unknown. There is a line located uh, on the cuvette, which you just want to fill it up to that line. You can then insert your unknown sample and it will read the absorber. This is our new spectrophotometer. First to turn it on, you press this button. Then to change the wavelength, you go to the far left. You can then increase or decrease the wavelength using the up or down buttons. Once you have the wavelength you want, you can press the check mark to confirm. You can then insert your blank or your reference by holding the blurry side and putting the clear side uh, where the light will pass through. Push it in to make sure it's in all the way. You then press set reference, this button right here. Once that is complete, you can remove that cuvette and insert your standards. The absorbance can then be read by pressing the screen button.